so today's video is going to be the most exciting video that I film on my channel and I'm always super excited when the Sephora sales roll around. So today's video is going to be my Sephora haul for spring 2022. This is the Sephora spring savings sales event for VIB Beauty Insider and VIB Rouge. So I am super excited to share with you guys what I got during the sale. So let's go ahead and go through everything. I picked up some really good stuff. There's a lot of products in here. So, I mean, there are some bigger products that are probably weighing down the bag a little bit more. But let's just jump right into it because I'm super excited to share with you guys what I got. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first things that I got were from the brand Rare Beauty. And I did pick up two products from Selena Gomez's line. Now, the first thing that I got was the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen in the shade 10N. So this is what the packaging looks like. And I'm going to open it up and show it to you guys. So I was kind of back and forth whether or not I wanted to pick this up. But then I kind of got sucked in to trying this and I just ended up picking it up literally the first day that the sale started, which was April 1st. The sale is now over. I'm sorry that I'm getting this video up so late for you guys. I'm usually pretty good about um, uploading my haul video before, excuse me, before the sale is over. But I just got in the last order I was waiting for yesterday. So I was finally filmed able to film the haul for you guys today before work. Um, I actually have been filming since like 12 today because I did try out most of these products on my face. So anyway, this tinted moisturizer launched during the first day of the sale, which was super exciting that Rare Beauty actually came out with a new product for the start of the sale and they actually have never done a tinted moisturizer. So I was super intrigued to pick this up. So this is what the packaging looks like. I really, really like how small the packaging is. It's really easy to store. And I also like it's kind of in a non-opaque bottle. Um, I also really like the cap. The only thing that I'm not like in love with is that this is a squeezy tube. I'm not like the biggest fan of squeezy tube products. That's just me. Um, but this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of like a paint tube. So anyway, this says, um, what are the claims on this? Where is that? I don't see any claims on it. It just says apply liberally and evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure, sun protection measures, spending time. Okay, so it just like gives you warnings about sun protection. So anyway, I would compare this to the consistency of the Fenty Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. That's what how I would describe it. Um, I feel like that that's the product it feels the most similar to. It has a little bit less coverage than the Easy Skin Tint, which actually has way more coverage than you would think for a tinted moisturizer, but I really like this. It layers really nicely. I just apply one layer and then I go in with concealer and I'm good to go. But I have used this a couple of times already and so far I really have been enjoying it. So if you guys were eyeing it, or wanted to pick it up at some point since, again, the sale is over right now. But if you guys were still interested in getting this, I would 100% recommend it. I think it's beautiful on the skin. And I really like wearing it as, like, an, a very lightweight um, tinted moisturizer. Like I said, it doesn't have as much coverage as the Fenty Beauty. But if you layer it up, I think it's going to give you a really nice um, coverage. So I really like this so far. So that is the first product. And then the next product that I picked up from Rare Beauty is an is the Always an Optimist powder. What is this called? Why is everything in French? That's French. It says Always an Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder in the shade Light. And this says a super fine, loose setting powder that melds with your makeup to smooth, blur, and set with a soft, radiant finish. I didn't realize that the claims were on the, <laughs> on the front of this for the tinted moisturizer. It says, a weightless tinted moisturizer that instantly blurs and hydrates skin with light to medium coverage and a natural finish. I would definitely say it does all of that. And then I would say that this does the same. So I got this in the shade light, which is obviously the latest shade they have to offer. I've been interested in trying this powder for a little while. 
So I decided to pick it up during the sale. So far, I'm absolutely obsessed with this powder. It's so lightweight on the skin. I feel like for people that have really dry skin, I think they're really going to love this type of loose powder. It is so like weightless and light and almost silky pillow-like texture. It feels so amazing underneath the eyes and it literally feels like you're not even applying powder. I just have been absolutely loving this. So this is what the packaging looks like. I have been using mine quite a bit, but basically you turn the inside to um, get the sifter, but I've just been leaving it turned out so I can just shake out the powder. But I also really like it because it's kind of like a pinky toned color. So it's kind of like, it's translucent with a bit of a pinky hue to it, but I really like that because I kind of have like very light pinky undertones to my skin but I've been using this every day since I got it and so far I've been absolutely obsessed with it again it's a super lightweight finely milled powder so I feel like again people with dry skin are really gonna enjoy this like myself because I also have dry skin too and I have been absolutely loving it. So, so far these two products from Your Beauty are ace. I've been loving both of them. So those are the two products that I picked up from Rare Beauty. Now let's move on to some other brands. So the next brand I wanted to talk about is that I did pick up a couple of things from the brand Makeup. If I could hold this from the brand Makeup by Mario. So I did pick up a couple of products from um, Makeup by Mario, which is Kim, Kardash Kim Kardashian's <laughs> Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go ahead and share with you guys some of the products that I got. So I did pick up two of his eyeliner uh, pencils, and this is the Master Pigment Pro Pencil. And I got the shades The Perfect Brown and Super Black. So I'm going to go ahead and share these with you guys. I feel like the packaging is a little bit much. It's kind of like huge. But the eyeliner is pretty big. So I guess it kind of makes sense for the eyeliner. I cannot open this up to save my life without using scissors. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I don't know why this is so hard for me to get open. I'm also going to do that for this one. Sorry if I'm like all over the place. I haven't filmed a haul in like a month. And like I said, I'm pretty tired right now. So yeah, your girl's been filming the whole time before she goes to work because that's commitment. <laughs> I usually don't do that, but I will do that for the Sephora sale. Okay, so the first shade I got is the brown, which is called the Perfect Brown. And this is what the packaging looks like. Really nice sleek packaging so on one end you have the eyeliner pencil and then on the other end you kind of have like a smudger I'm never going to use this I'm going to I bought it to use the eye pencil so this is actually the eye pencil I'm wearing on my waterline today and oh my god these eye pencils are so rich and creamy and so pigmented and it just glided on my waterline no irritation whatsoever it's super pigmented. I think these might be my new favorite eyeliners I've ever tried. Like, I think I like these even more than the um, uh, Marc Jacobs ones. And I didn't realize that I actually have not replaced my, make my Marc Jacobs ones since last spring. So I'm probably going to get rid of those and just start using these. So I picked up the brown and that is just such a gorgeous, rich brown shade. I love it and this is the first time I tried it today and I'm obsessed so I'm probably going to be using these all through the spring and summer and year round because obviously these are the two colors I use the most. That's why I picked up brown and black and then the other one of course is the black shade. So this is what it looks like. Again same concept with the smudger on one side and then the eyeliner on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you guys too. I kind of want to show you guys how creamy it is. So I'm just going to look at that. <laughs> that was one little swipe. And then I'll build it up a little bit for you guys. So it comes out really black and there's like no bleeding or anything. I'm absolutely obsessed. So I think I'm going to be loving these for a long time. I always see the fancy face absolutely rave about these eyeliners. 
Um, so I was really intrigued to try them because of her and I love them. I think they're amazing. Um, cause she said that like the Marc Jacobs ones dry out really fast. I still really like the Marc Jacobs ones, but again, since they're getting a little bit more on the older side, I really needed to replace them. So I went ahead and picked up these and so far I love them. I cannot wait to try the black one. And then the last thing that I picked up from Makeup by Mario is I did pick up one of the new Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Creams and I picked up the shade Nude Suede. So far, I haven't used this on my lips yet because when I use this, for some reason, I'm not in love with the shade with the eye looks that I've been doing. So I'm, I am intending on using this pretty soon. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like for the lip cream. And then I did get, of course, the nude color. And you can see the color of the shade through this little um, see-through uh see-through glass on see-through plastic on the packaging so this is what the shade looks like it's a really pretty like nudie cool tone uh color so I'm really excited to see what I think of the formula every time I want to use it with an eye look I'm like not in love with the color so I probably will try it again soon sorry my nose is running I don't know why <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really curious to see what I think of the formula and everything and how it performs throughout the day. So I went ahead and picked up this as well. I have not tried his lipsticks yet. The only thing I have from him or excuse me, things that I have from him is his blush and his um, highlighter and they're both gorgeous. All the highlighters are sold out right now, but his highlighters are amazing but I wanted to try this too. So I'm really excited to see what I think of it. It probably would have been really pretty with what I'm wearing today too, but I'm wearing another lipstick that I picked up from the sale. So that is everything that I got from Makeup by Mario. Now let's move on to some other products. So I did also pick up um, a mascara or two from the sale because you guys know I always pick up mascaras. I always pick up a foundation, a mascara. Like I try to pick up something from every category. The only thing that I didn't pick up is an eyeshadow palette this time around. I am actually wearing the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. And like I said, I do have a full get ready with me on everything I'm wearing on my face that I got from the sale. So I'm wearing most of the products today. So you guys can check out that video after this video goes up. And vice versa, if you guys want to see everything I picked up, obviously you're going to be watching this video. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so, I usually pick up something from every category, but I was really interested in trying this mascara from Milk Makeup. So, this is their new mascara, and this is the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. So, this is what the packaging looks like. I love, like, the red writing, and I love, like, I just love Milk's packaging in general. I think it always looks super clean and pretty and I just love their whole aesthetic. I always end up being sucked in to pick up at least something from them during the sale. So this is the Rise Mascara and it says lift, length, and volume and it says elevation and basically it says curved lash lift brush fits natural curve of lashes to lift from the root and uh, what else does it say? 93% natural formula with vegan lash wrap technology that curls and lengthens for weightless volume. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So this is what the packaging looks like for the Milk Makeup Mascara. And it has like this really soft, like almost like, I feel like it's kind of like recycled plastic, which I really like. That's definitely like kind of in innovative and might like inspire some brands to actually like reuse packaging so I really like that but also with mascaras like it's nice that someone is using like a sustainable kind of material because mascaras like we obviously go through a lot more than like other things in our collection so for them to even be like conscientious about mascara packaging is actually a really refreshing thing I don't know if this, this is recyclable but I feel like it, it would be because it's so soft. So anyway, this is what it looks like. And then when you open it up, this is the curved wand that they were talking about on the packaging. 
and I really have been enjoying this mascara. I do love that it has a curved wand. It really grips onto the lashes beautifully and it gives me like such pretty length and volume as soon as I start using it. This is the mascara I'm wearing on my lashes today. And so far, I really have been enjoying it. I've used it a handful of times so far, and I really, really like it. So I'm glad I picked this up. I heard some good things about it. And this is actually the travel size, and I think it's a really substantial size to be a travel size. So I thought it was worth it. So I just went ahead and picked that up. And then speaking of mascaras, I did pick up another mascara from Melt Cosmetics. This was actually the only mascara they've ever had. And they brought this back last uh, year, I believe, during Halloween again. But this is the mascara that they came out with with the uh, Beetlejuice collection. So they did have it available at my Sephora. So I just happened to decide to pick it up. So this is the Melt Super National... Super National... <laughs> Super Natural Lash Beyond Natural Thickness Ultra Black Mascara. I can't believe I said Super National. So this is what it looks like. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and obviously, this is a black mascara. Same thing with the Melt one. And then this is what the packaging looks like. I'm obsessed with the packaging. I love, like, this red tube. Everything Melt kills it with packaging. I love their whole aesthetic. Everything so this is what it looks like, and then this is what the wand looks like. I do like it's kind of like that curved kind of situation again. Not exactly curved, but I do like it's kind of um, like not a completely straight wand, but I'm not in love with this mascara. I think it's okay. I do prefer the Milk Mascara over this one. I have tried this one like twice. I'm not like obsessed with it, but it's okay. I'm going to use it up anyway, but I just feel like the milk one is better. So if you guys were thinking about this one, I would go for the milk one instead of this one. But yeah, it's nice. It's not like, oh my God, knocks my socks off completely, but it's good. Okay. So then speaking of melt, I did also pick up one other thing. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this since it came out, but since the Sephora sale rolled around and I didn't pick this up during the last sale, um, they had this in my store. I'm not sure if they had this in store when the last sale was going on, um, but I decided to pick it up this time around and I just felt like I wanted something from this collection, but I was not going to pay full price for it because this is $60 full price. But with the sale, it ends up being like $46. So I think that's a pretty good price for six blushes. So I decided to finally pick up the Mel Cosmetics Mary Posa Butterfly Palette. Look at this packaging, you guys. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm so obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. I love like the gold metallicness with the butterfly in the middle. Everything is beautiful. And then when you open it up, I love this like red velvet packaging on the inside. Just the attention to detail is so pretty. And also the inside is lined with that velvet packaging. So I love that. 10 out of 10 with the packaging. And then this is the inside packaging. Ooh, I love how there's the gold butterfly on the outside and then the monarch butterfly on the inside. Just super pretty. So this is what it looks like, and then on the back, it has another butterfly. It's just so pretty. And then when you open it up, it does come with a mirror and an insert. The mirror is also absolutely stunning. I love the butterflies all over it. And then this is the Melt Blush Palette with the six beautiful blushes. And again, I love the butterfly on the inside. So this is what the um palette looks like on the inside and I love the embossments of the butterflies on the actual matte blushes in here just so pretty everything about it like the packaging is just gorgeous so it comes with six blush shades so we have four true matte colors and then we have two blushes with shimmer so we have I'm gonna butcher these names I'm sorry because they are Spanish names we have Mil Milagritos, Vida, Flor, Feliz, Sonrisa, and Comin 
Comingo. Comingo. I did take Spanish in high school, so I'm sorry if I butcher these names. I know Felice, so we're just gonna... <laughs> This is, it's bad. So I'm just going to go ahead and swatch some of these for you guys. I am wearing the shade uh, Vita on my cheeks today, which is this color here. It's such a pretty, like, mauve tone. And I feel like the, the shimmery ones leave such a beautiful, like, luminescence to your skin. Like, they're not glittery whatsoever. It's just really, really pretty. So I'm just going to swatch a couple of these. For you guys i'm not going to swatch all of them but they are super smooth very pigmented and they apply beautifully to the skin i mean i've only used three of them i need to use this neutral shade the next time i use this but this one is uh milgriatos then we have floor and then we have sonrisa so those are the matte blushes for you guys so, so pretty, super creamy. I cannot wait to try out the rest of the shades in here. So I'm super duper excited about that. And I just think it's so pretty. I didn't go blush crazy this time. I just wanted this blush palette and I did pick up one other blush. Last time, oh my God, I went blush ham last time. It was kind of insane. I'm just gonna throw the products that I already tried in this box that I have. Because it's like taking up too much room on my desk already. Okay. So those are the mascaras that I got and some of the blushes that I got. So let's just go ahead. Let's just finish off with blushes. So the other blush I decided to pick up was the Patrick Ta Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush. And this one is in the shade She's, She's Sincere. Oh my god. Um, so I have been obsessed with the cream blush duo from Patrick Ta with the cream and the velvet blush. I love this formula that I kind of wanted to get one of the single velvet blushes. So I just went ahead and picked up one of them during the sale because I really love his blush formula. And I actually have been eyeing this one for quite a while. So I just decided to pick it up this time around. There wasn't really any other blushes I was super interested in trying. So I figured just to pick up the one I wanted to get. So this is, it's already getting stained on the packaging. Because I actually have been keeping this out to use. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then when you open it up, this is the color. And it's a really pretty nude toned blush. And I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. I'm actually getting a little bit hungry, so I was going to eat right after this. The thing about this blush is that it really does not swatch. It does not pick up in a swatch or really swatch on my hand, and since my skin is so fair, you're not really going to see it, but this builds up so beautifully on the face. It's a very subtle formula. I really like this. This is for somebody that, like, doesn't want something like hella pigmented because sometimes blushes that come out now or like just in general are just so pigmented that I would prefer like a more buildable formula and I like that this is a buildable formula and it looks beautiful on the face. So don't be fooled by that it doesn't pick up in a swatch. You really have to try something on your face and I love how it looks. So I really like this blush so far. I've used it a couple of times and I've been obsessed, so I really, really like it. Okay, I don't know how I got this on my pants. I just put these pants on now and I already got a makeup stain on them. That's great. <laughs> okay, moving on. We still have quite a few products to get through. So the next products that I got, I did pick up two concealers during the sale. So the first one is a bougie one, but this is the only thing that I got from Dior this time around. I usually go pretty ham with Dior, but I decided to pick up two products from another luxury brand this time around. So I did pick up this concealer from Dior. So this is the Dior Forever Skin Correct 24-Hour Wear Caring Full Coverage Creamy Concealer in the shade 0N. So I've been hearing really good things about this concealer, so I wanted to try it for myself. So this is what the packaging looks like. It looks very similar to the um, foundation packaging. And also, I really wanted to get this because I wanted to try it with the Dior Skin Forever Foundation, which I already own. I picked that up like a few months ago. So I was really curious to see how this performed with it. The shade is a 
tad dark for me, but once I blend it out, it looks beautiful. So like it doesn't really have to be like super light in order to work for me because if it absorbs into the skin well enough, it works for me. So I have been really enjoying this concealer so far. It is super creamy. It has a beautiful coverage to it, but it's so creamy that it feels so nice underneath the eyes and I really have been enjoying this so far. It blends out beautifully, blends right into the skin. So far, I really have been enjoying it. I tried it out a couple of times and I really like it. And then the next concealer that I got, um, I was kind of looking for something that was a little bit more lightweight because I am kind of searching for a newer, like, lighter coverage concealer. But I couldn't really find anything that was, like, kind of lightweight except for, like, the original Tarte C concealer that... I got last year and I actually just finished that off but I did also see that Tarte released a new C concealer in the Tarte C line. So this is the Tarte C Powerflex Antioxidant Concealer and I got it in the shade 8, 8S Porcelain Sand and I usually always enjoy the Tarte concealers that come out in this line. So I decided to pick up one of these for myself and this one again is in pretty much the lightest shade. But the packaging is massive, <laughs> like so big. I don't know why Tarte decides to release these massive applicators for their concealers, but hey, it's actually really, really nice. So this concealer, I just picked this up yesterday, so I tried it out for the first time today, and so far, I really like it. It's very similar to the consistency of the Dior one. This one is also very creamy, blends out beautifully. I really, really like it so far, so I will keep you guys updated on this one, because again, I've only used it today, but so far, I really like it. It feels great underneath the eyes, not heavy whatsoever. Um, I did try the Tarte Shape Tape Creamy Concealer last year, and I returned that. I noticed literally no difference in how it felt. Honestly, this is what I would have wanted the creamy concealer to feel like, because this feels like a creamy concealer. That one, literally, I don't know what the difference was with the Shape Tape as compared to the creamy concealer Shape Tape. They literally were not different at all. This is what I would have wanted the, the creamy concealer, concealer to feel like. Sorry. So those are the two concealers I picked up. Okay, moving on. We're getting there, you guys. So I also picked up quite a few lip products. So let's go through some of the lip products that I got. Um, okay, so there's three lip products and then there's some face stuff and then we'll be done. So I picked up a couple of lip products from a couple of different brands. Um, one of the lip products I actually picked up like a month ago, so I will share that a little bit later. So let's share this lip product first. So Fenty Beauty did come out with these new refillable lipsticks, so I did pick up one of the shades. So this is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Icon um, case and lipstick. So this is the Fenty Icon, the Fill Semi Matte Lipstick. So I did pick up the case and I also picked up the lipstick in the shade Pose Queen. So I did refill the, um, I did fill the case with the shade that I got. So this is what the packaging looks like for the Fenty lipstick. So that's what it looks like. It's this really pretty like silver bullet and then what you do to take out the lipstick that you're using is that you twist it to pop this up and then you just twist it off and you take out the lipstick so it's actually really nice and then when you uh turn the bottom it obviously turns up the um lipstick for you to use it and i actually like that there's um I didn't realize that the color was also on the tube. I don't think it came like that. So that's actually really funny. I didn't even realize that. Maybe that was, I don't know how that ended up being the same. <laughs> it actually really surprises me. 
So anyway, this is the lipstick. It's such a pretty color. I've used this a couple of times already and I really, really like the formula. It's just really pretty. Fenty Beauty makes such gorgeous lip products. I've pretty much been a fan of every single lip product she's come out with. And the only thing about this though was then when I when I put it in for the first time, it kind of got smushed in the tube and I had it rolled all the way down to put into the tube and it still got smushed anyway. And then when I, actually when I rolled this back down and put it in, you put it in like this, it got smushed a little bit. So, but I'm, you have to make sure it's rolled all the way down in order to put it back in the tube. So just keep that in mind. I wasn't really a huge fan of that, but I do really like the lipstick. So that is the only product I picked up from Fenty Beauty. Okay, next up. Next up are... Um, should we save the lip products for last? Hmm. Because that's pretty much everything I picked up in store. And now everything else is pretty much from online. Um, but I did also get a couple other things in store. Let's share these products with you guys first. So let's pick, let's share the bougie brands with you guys. So I do always pick up a high-end foundation during the sale and I've been kind of really intrigued to try this brand for quite a while. So I decided to order two products from Valentino Beauty. And I picked up the foundation and one of the lipsticks. First off, the packaging is so gorgeous. I almost want to keep this packaging because I love it. Why am I getting literally like foundation everywhere? So I just love this red packaging that I'm so intrigued to keep this for the foundation. But yeah, I'm not going to. So this is the Very Val Valentino Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 26 Light Lasting Perfecting Foundation. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's so beautiful. And I got it in the shade Light 2. And where are the claims for this? Up to 24-hour fine foundation wear, buildable coverage, light feel, and fresh stay. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. What does that say? Okay, sorry. I was just reading the bottle. So this is what it looks like. This is what the foundation looks like. Look how beautiful this packaging is. Like, so gorgeous. I feel that this is so luxurious and it has quite a bit of weight to the packaging. Like, I think that this is glass but also a little bit of plastic, but it feels really nice. So, it doesn't feel like it's going to break super easily if I ever dropped this. So, this is the Very Valentino Sunscreen Foundation. And I do like that there's sunscreen in here. And this is what the bottle looks like. I just, I love it. It's so beautiful. I did try this for the first time today and I'm absolutely obsessed how this foundation looks on my skin. At first when I applied it, you'll see it in the video, I was like, I'm not like crazy about it. But then after I like put my concealer on and everything else, I really love how it looks. So I'm really excited I tried this one out because I was back and forth between this foundation and the Gucci foundation. But this one was a few dollars less than the Gucci one. The Gucci one was almost $70. This was like 60 something. So I was like, that's actually not a bad discount with the 20% off. So this ends up being like 50 something. So I thought that that was worth it. So I picked up that. And then I also picked up one of the lipsticks. Now this is the Mini Rosso Striking Satin Lip Color Light Lasting Wear Lipstick. And this is the mini one. And I got it in the shade... 100R Roman Grace and this is actually the lipstick I'm wearing on my lips today. This is actually the first time I'm wearing it and again I am obsessed with the red packaging. It's just so pretty and I love that there's like the gold metallic packaging on the side and then when you open it up it's this really pretty pink lip shade. I'm not going to swatch it because I am wearing it on my lips but I think that this formula is beautiful. It's so lightweight, so hydrating. I also love that it's not completely matte. It has a beautiful like 
glossiness to it, I would 100% recommend you try one of these maybe during the next Sephora sale, but I feel like not many people are talking about Valentino Beauty, and I think so far his products are gorgeous. So those are the two products I got from Valentino, and I thought that this was beautiful. It glided on the lips beautifully. So, so far I'm really impressed with the two products that I got. Cannot wait to use these more. Um, so those are the two lip, those are the two products. And then let's just get into the last couple of things. Hold on one second. Okay, so let's just share the sprays that I got. We'll save the best for last. So I did pick up two sprays. Um, so the first spray that I got, so these were actually on my wish list a while ago. And then for some reason, I finally remembered to pick these up during this sale because... During the last sale, I, you know, you know, spaced on half the products I wanted to get. And then when I actually saw them in store, I'm like, oh, I wanted to get this, this, and this. It was, like, the same thing for this. Like, ever since I had COVID, like, my brain is so scattered on what I actually want for the sale. So, I end up making, like, multiple orders or make multiple trips to the store and really make sure I go around the store to see if there's anything else I really want. But I think I pretty much got everything that I wanted this time. Um, so this spray, I've been really intrigued on trying this for quite a while. And I finally decided to pick it up. So this is the Tower 28 SOS Daily Rescue Facial Spray. And the real reason that this intrigued me to pick this up is that it's actually um, approved by the National Eczema Association. And I kind of wanted to try it to see how this will um perform on my eczema on my leg because like I said before I'm not sure if I said this earlier I think I said it in the video that I was applying all these products um was that I actually use it as a prep spray today and it was super hydrating on my skin so I really like it and I feel like that's why my skin feels so hydrated right now and feels so good is because of this spray um but I also tried it on my leg last night and it actually really helped the itch a lot and subsided the redness of um, the patches on my leg substantially. So if I love this, I probably should have picked this up in the full size. But I wanted to try the mini one. But I feel like I'm going to love this. So, so far I'm extremely impressed with this. So I can't wait to use it more. And then the other spray that I finally decided to get. So I got this because Debbie absolutely raves about this spray all the time. So I finally decided to pick up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. And I decided to get the smaller version. And I actually used it a couple of times for this look today. I sprayed it to set my makeup after I, I set my makeup with powder. And then I also always finish up with a setting spray after my makeup is done. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like for the dewy spray and I really like this so far. The reason why I picked this up now and why I didn't pick it up before is that my ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Hydrolonic Acid Setting Mist is almost to the bottom. So I was like let me try this out because I actually forgot to order that when I ordered from ColourPop like a couple of days ago. So I was like, let's try this out. And so far, I really like it. It smells really nice. It sets my face beautifully. I love, you guys know, I love anything dewy. So, so far, I really like it. So I cannot wait to use it more. But yes, she is definitely the reason why I picked this up. And this was on my wish list, the last Sephora sale. But since I am at the tail end of using up my sprays, I don't really like picking up sprays until I'm almost done with them. Um, that That's why I decided to pick it up this time around. Okay, two more lip products. So let's go with the Bougie products for last. So let me just have a little bit more water. I'm getting tired and I want to eat something. Let's see, how much do we have left? Okay, we only have three products left. Okay, so the next product that I got... This also launched during the sale, so I got one of the Gucci Liquid Matte Lip Colors, and this one is in the shade um, Mildred Rosewood, which is 203. 
and I'm just gonna open it up and show it to you guys. So this is what the Gucci liquid lipstick looks like. They didn't really have any nude shades, but I thought that this color looked so pretty online. So I decided to order this along with the Valentino stuff because Valentino was not available at my Sephora. Um, but they did just get Gucci in my Sephora, but I was good and I only picked up this from the sale from Gucci. Like I said, originally I was thinking about picking up the, um, the foundation and I was also thinking about picking up the powder, like the pressed powder, but I was like, no, Caitlin, you have the Dior one. You already picked up two powders this year from Urban Decay and ColourPop. You don't need another pressed powder. So I might pick that up during the November sale, but I definitely don't need any powders right now. So anyway, this is what the Mildred Rosewood shade looks like. It's a really, really pretty color. It's not like too pink. I almost wore it with this look today, but I really wanted to try out the Valentino lipstick. So I really like this so far, but I was a little bit hesitant to see how I liked this because I actually saw Tina picked up a bunch of these during the sale and she swatched it and she said her thoughts initially about this and she said that she didn't like it at all because it's not really a liquid lipstick. I would say it's a liquid lipstick. I wouldn't say it's a liquid matte lipstick. This kind of really reminds me of like a lip cream. And it actually really reminds me of like the ColourPop um, pillowy like Luxe Velvet lipsticks. I would compare it to those. And I feel like it's more of like a creamy formula than as opposed to a matte lipstick, but I tried it out last night just to see how it would look, and I really liked it, um, and I think that this is going to be really pretty as like a lightweight lip product, so I don't hate it. I just think that they marketed it completely wrong, because it's definitely not super matte, but it does dry down to be really pretty. I really like it, so I'm excited to try it out. Um, so that, that is all the makeup that I got, and then I did get just um, two other things, and then I did get some hair products. I'm waiting for the shampoo and conditioner that I got in the mail, so I will share that later. So I did pick up one skincare product. I didn't really need to pick up skincare this time. I also did pick up um, a backup of my Ole Hendrickson Vitamin C Daily Cleanser um, a couple of weeks ago, so I don't need to share that, but I just wanted to say I picked up a backup of that. I also did pick up um, this cream from the Inky List. So this is the Inky List Retinol Eye Cream. I've been wanting to try this for so long and they finally had it in stock at my store because they never have this in stock. And me and my friend actually went on a day where they fully restocked the Inky List products. Like we were literally there when the girl was stocking the shelves. I'm like, perfect, we can both get the products we actually really want. Um, so I picked up the retinol eye cream and I've been really intrigued to try this because I've used the brightening eye cream and the caffeine eye cream in the past and they don't really do too much for my skin. I like them and I, they do provide smoothness underneath my eyes and everything, but I actually want to see if this makes like a real difference in like the lines underneath my eyes and like helps like with aging and stuff, so I'm really intrigued to try this. I'm using the brightening one right now, and of course I love that one, but I wanted to see how that one was. Sorry, my nose is getting stuffy again. Okay, then the next product was actually something I really needed to get. I'm not going to open it up, but I finally decided to replace my Veramona color switch because mine is getting so so old I'm just gonna get rid of this finally I'm this is literally gonna go in the trash um because I've had it for years so I finally decided to pick up a new one during the sale so I just wanted to say this is like my holy grail everyday product I use this to clean off my brushes in between every time I apply you know eyeshadow I use this to wipe off in between to apply another color so that color is not still on the brush this is a lifesaver product so I just wanted to say I picked up another one finally and then the last thing for now that I picked up from the sale actually I'll share this one first so I did pick this up 
a little while ago, but I wanted to share it with you guys in this haul just because it's from Sephora. I did not get this with the 20% off, but I got this with my friend when we went shopping a couple weeks ago. So I finally had a friend to shop with for this sale, so that was really fun. So one of my friends is getting really into makeup right now, so she wanted me to help her like pick out products and stuff. So we did go a couple weeks back. And I picked up the Daily Cleanser that I used, the Ole Hendrickson one then. And then I also decided to pick up a Gucci lipstick. I should have waited until the sale. But, you know, when you're, when you're with your friends, you always want to pick up something with them. So I decided to get the Gucci lip color in the shade 206 Katrine Sand. I do have the matte lipstick from Gucci, but I've been very intrigued to try the cream finish. First off, the packaging is so gorgeous. I was so intrigued to try this just because of this floral packaging. It's gorgeous. And then this is the color that I got. So this is Katrine Sand. Of course, it's like a peachy toned nude, which you guys know are some of my favorite colors. And so far, I absolutely am obsessed with this. I've worn this a ton since I've gotten it. And it's so beautiful on the lips. So, and it has such a pretty like creamy reflectiveness to it. I love it. So obsessed. You guys know. So now I have all three different finishes from Gucci because I'm that girl, I guess. And then the last thing that I got for now, and then I'll show you guys the shampoo and conditioner later because it still hasn't come in the mail yet. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to realize that I needed another one of these two during the sale, but I finally decided to pick up another one of my Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoos. Um, I used up the first one that I have completely, so I picked up another one of the smaller travel size. This lasts me for months, so this lasts such a long time, so I just decided to pick up another one. This is my favorite dry shampoo. And yeah, that is it for now. I'm going to go eat something, and then I'll share the shampoo and conditioner with you guys later. Okay, you guys, so I'm back home from work and everything, um... The order with my shampoo and conditioner didn't come until after I was at work, like literally two hours later. So obviously I didn't have time to show you guys those products because I had to be work at be at work at three. So usually I order and use the Kiehl's Amino Acid Shampoo and Conditioner. That's been my tried and true shampoo and conditioner for a couple years at this point. But unfortunately, Sephora has been out of the um, medium size of the conditioner and the like the um, like value size, which is like this bottle that's like this big for like a month already. So I decided to order something that's literally like a fraction of the price and I decided to try something a lot cheaper because... These are only priced at like $8 full price, but with the discount, they're like six bucks. So I was like, I think I'm going to try a more inexpensive alternative. And I was like, I think I'm just going to try the ordinary shampoo and conditioner. So that's what I picked up. So I picked up the, uh, which one is this? Yes, this is the cleanser. So this is the sulfate 4% cleanser for body and hair. So this is the shampoo. I'm going to see if it's a seal. Yeah, there's a seal here. So I'm just going to open that up and see if there's any scent to it. Ugh. Need scissors for everything. Whoops. Let's not poke that too much. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um... There's not really any scent to it, and it looks like it's very liquidy. I'm going to have to cut this off, though. That's really liquidy. So let's not do that right now, but I think that's going to be nice. So I'm excited to try this and keep you guys updated on how this does for my hair, because like I said, I've used the Kiehl's one for forever, and then I also picked up the Coinciding Conditioner. Um, I'm pretty sure this probably has the same scent, but I think that these are pretty substantial sizes. And again, they're only $6, and I really like the packaging and everything. So I'm really curious to try these out. So those are the last two products that I picked up from the sale. That's what I was waiting for in the mail today. 
it actually originally said it was supposed to come on Thursday and I was like I really wanted to get this haul up right after I filmed it so I'm gonna get it up tomorrow which is gonna be the day you're seeing it so yeah that is it you guys I hope you guys enjoyed everything that I got from the Sephora sale what did you guys get let me know I am very curious to see what you guys got and yeah that's pretty much it I love you guys so much thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe follow me on my instagram at cbw819 and check out my poshmark at the same handle I have been talking all day I'm super tired I'm ready to just like relax so yeah I love you guys bye